one of the tapes piled on the counter caught my eye. Its cover was a cheap-looking photo of a cross-eyed platinum blonde staring off into space, her mouth an almost perfect O slathered in Crayola red slop. The movie's two-word title written with dripping letters. I picked it up. Blood Feast, I read. I think I may have actually seen this one. Oh, it's a classic, said James. H.G. Lewis's stuff was ahead of its time. Looks kind of corny compared to stuff like Day of the Dead or whatever, but nobody else was doing anything close back then. I just remembered a pretty blonde getting her heart cut out by a madman in a black suit, I said. The vague memory nagged at me. And then he ate it, I think. She was a redhead, said James in a matter-of-fact tone, and the killer in that scene was dressed up like an ancient Egyptian, or was supposed to be anyway. Looked kind of like a toga party. He wears a black suit later on, though. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, I said. We can put it in and check it out if you want, offered James eagerly. Uh, That's fine, I said, setting the tape back down on the counter face down so I didn't have to look at the cover. So... I take it you're a fan of that kind of stuff. Yeah, he replied, cool and reserved now, trying to impress me. I mean, I'm into all kinds of movies, foreign stuff. I go to the Bijou up in Iowa City sometimes, but I've always loved monsters. Most people think it's all junk, but a lot of them are are really good and, like, important, you know? How so? Like, they get right to it, you know? What you're afraid of. Shit you can't talk about. Whatever it is, they put it right up there, like nightmares that you're awake for. He paused to make a note on his clipboard. I went up to Blackburn last spring because I heard they were going to show Last House on the Left on a big screen in an auditorium. They had this professor talk before the show, and that's what he said. Like, we need to see that stuff. Called it catharsis. He looked around the room and sighed. When Russ first opened this place, he just wanted to rent out adult films. He chuckled, making exaggerated quotation marks with his fingers. I don't know what's so adult about them. It's not like you're watching people do their tax returns or something. Anyway, I convinced him to try some other stuff, and it was a hit. Now he lets me do the ordering. He was getting comfortable with me. I had no idea where I was headed with any of this but my instincts told me there was something about this kid. I figured if I kept him talking, I might find out what. So the horror ones are pretty popular? Oh, yeah, he said. People act like they don't like it, like they make fun of the titles and stuff, but they still rent them, and rent them more. Gorier the better, he smiled. How about this? I handed him the flyer. Yeah, I may know a thing or two about that. He smiled, tapping the corner of the page decorated with crumbling tombstones. Johnny Alucard, a nightmare with hex appeal, I read. When I looked up, he was grinning ear to ear. That's you? Awesome, right? This summer, this guy comes in and we started talking about movies and stuff, and he says he owns the old Moonlight Drive-In, like he inherited it. And I freak out, obviously. Why? What do you mean? Boris Arloff, man. That's where he died, right? You mean the TV guy you were talking about or the other day? Seriously? You haven't heard any of this? I shook my head, which isn't technically the same as lying. Well, so he was on TV in the 50s and 60s, and he hosted old horror movies, right? Like, you know who Elvira is, right? I don't really watch oh, whatever it's like they he wore spooky costumes and like cut in around the commercials or whatever to tell jokes and do creepy stuff make fun of the movie or talk about trivia or something it's awesome there's only like 13 shows that still exist but i've got them all on tape guy up at the station let me make copies i nodded and it was a pretty big deal too Like all the kids and teenagers or whatever watched it every week and were way into it. So he started doing these live shows at the Moonlight where they'd play a horror movie and then he'd get up on stage and like do the same thing as on TV, but like way better. Like I heard he had go-go dancers and rock bands and stuff.